Whew. That's a big boy. Hello everyone and welcome back to Call of the Wild. Last episode I asked you guys, what do you guys do on Christmas? And I grabbed some of your responses and we're gonna try to do them today in Call of the Wild. And the first one is bunny hunting. I'll put that up on screen. So yeah, we're gonna see if we can grab ourselves some bunnies today. And the next one is actually quail hunting. And coincidentally, we can do both of them here. So let's see, there is an Eastern Cottontail rabbit zone right there. And over here, we've got Bob White quail. Now, as you can see, I tried to do a little bit of tracking Turns out, trying to find quail on this map, next to impossible. So <laughs> I don't know how you guys do it in real life, but man, I'm having a hard time here. So we're going to walk around. Hopefully we can get one of each. And then we've got a bunch more set up here to do today. And yeah, I'm pretty excited to reenact what you guys do for Christmas. Oh, and I brought up the Labrador Pablo. He's running around over in there because they can grab class ones. And both the quail and the rabbits are class one animals. So he's going to be really useful here, actually, if we can shoot one. Warning thump. Okay. Let's chill out a little bit. Hopefully he calms down. All right. I've got my shotgun here, but it's probably going to be easier with the Viren. Let's see if we can creep up. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. I don't know if it ran off or what. All right, let's grab this. I think this was our dude. Oh, there it is. Right? Pablo, get him. Wrong gun. Oh, no. Okay, sorry about that. I'm going this way. Shoot, where did they go? I think it went down here. Damn, he's pissed. Okay, it's running this way. I should be able to track down a rabbit. It shouldn't be too hard, right? I hope. Let me see. He went over here. Oh, there it is. I got it. <laughs> well, that wasn't too bad, Pablo. <laughs> it was pretty slow, buddy. All right. Go get it, bud. So he should grab it now. And he'll bring it on back to me. Good job, bud. Very good job. So there we go. Got it in the head. It's a female. Nice gold. 1.75. Damn, she's pretty good, actually. All right. I'll take it. Nice. Now all we got to do is find ourselves... Oh, he's not very alert. Oh, he's not feeling very good. Pablo, I got to reward you, buddy. You know, I kind of have to give him a treat on the holidays here. There you go, bud. Beautiful. All right. Let's go. Let's see here. Uh, well, We got one rabbit, and that's fun and all, but I want something a little bit bigger. Ooh, nice moose resting zone. And I also want to see what this bobcat was doing. Now, he's not part of the holiday thing that we're going to be doing, but uh, if he's pretty good, I will take him. Oh, yep, Eastern Cottontail. Oh, there's one right up here. Brown just now. Right here. Oh, there it is. Got it. All right, Pablo, bring him back to me. I don't really need him to do this. Ooh, Bob White Quail. All right, that's the direction we need to go. Good job, buddy. Ooh, look at this one. He is pretty. Or she is pretty. All right, so that's the first one done for today. Oh, no, they're fleeing. Let's see if we can spot them. Bronze, just not. Ooh. Warning call right from in here. Oh, it's fleeing. You know what? I mean, I don't see it anywhere. Whenever they say fleeing, they're just gone. Just poof. Oh, there it is. I see it. All right, maybe we can get to a good angle here. I hear it. We got it. Nice. All right, let's go see if we can get another one here. Oh, I'm panicking. I can't talk. Oh, my God. These bushes are so hard to go through. Okay, Pablo. Pablo. Grab the quail. Do you have it? Pablo, I told you to get the fucking thing. There you go. And I don't see anything. Uh, where'd my dog go? 
Hold on. He's over here. Did you find what I told you to get? There you go, bud. Man, you are struggling. All right, let me see. This was a silver. All right, perfect. All right, yeah, that's a pretty good looking bird. I like that model. Okay. Now, just like the rabbit, I could go and try to get a second one. I'm absolutely not going to do that. I don't know how you guys go bunny hunting and quail hunting, but... You know, the bunny hunting, I can understand. The quail hunting, oh my gosh, I would go... I'd go crazy. All right, so I think Pablo has a level up here. We can do... Let me see. Quiver. Fetch arrows and... Your dog has a higher chance of knowing when an animal is about to be spooked. I think we're going to go arrows. That's pretty cool. I might go down that route and see if I can do a little bit more with the bow. And your dog will howl like a wolf on command. I don't have Pablo able to do that. And he'll run further away and search for something to retrieve. I don't know. With this, I don't think it's that important because I don't really shoot anything from far away if they're class one. So I guess we'll do this. Yeah. Okay, so our next tradition is going to be coyote hunting. And I figured Leighton Lake is a pretty damn good place to do that. So let's see. I think the first butt shot we ever got was a coyote. And it was somewhere over here on the railroad. So maybe we do that. Let's see if we can... Yeah, let's do that here. Fast travel over here. Go up on that railroad and run around in that area. See if we can get ourselves a butt shot on a coyote. We also have the electronic collar with us. Oh, shit. Okay, well, we <laughs> we have part of the electronic collar with us. The other part is somewhere. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. Oh, and by the way, guys, thank you for all of you who are telling me some new video ideas. I've been getting, <laughs> been getting a little bit bored with some of the things I've been doing in Call of the Wild. And my brain, I don't have enough brain cells to figure out new ideas. So having you guys let me know what you guys want me to do has been very helpful and very fun, actually. So I'm going to run this way a little bit, see if I can find any tracks crossing this road here. If not, we'll head back the other way. Jesus, that is close. So you know what? Maybe we'll make our own tradition here. I'm going to go whitetail hunting. That's something I'd like to do during Christmas time back home. I know a lot of people do. So yeah, Let's see if we can bag ourselves a whitetail. Ooh. Okay, he's just a level one. He's not very big. Do I wait to see if another one comes through? There he is. All right, give me a decent shot here. Oh yeah, we got him. That was a good shot right there. Oh, there's another rabbit over there. Now, when you guys said bunnies, I just chose the Eastern Cottontail because, I mean, that sounds like a small, cute animal. But uh, yeah, I guess we could have grabbed any of these bunnies. Let's see here. He was... It was pretty damn bad, but we double lunged him, so damn right. But yeah, in the future, I would like to take Pablo hunting with me. I don't think he'd do too well with deer hunting. You know, I can't really get him up in the stand with me, but uh, yeah, maybe going rabbit hunting would be pretty cool with him. Wolf hunting, I don't know. We'll see what we can do. But I am going to show you guys at the end of the video what Pablo looks like now. He's getting so, so big. He's, uh, he's a little bit of a nightmare, but I love him. I'm so glad I got him. Ooh, turkey. If we shoot one of them, Pablo can actually grab it. You know what? Okay. Wait for it. Oh, yeah, that was good. All right, bud. Go pick it up for me. But, yeah, that's kind of what I want to do with the real life Pablo. I mean, he's not a retriever, but uh, he could pretty much do anything. He's very smart. There you go, bud. <laughs> Ooh, another turkey down in there. Some of you guys told me that you also do turkey hunting. So you know what? I'll put that one up on the screen. You guys told me that you go out and get like 25 turkeys. And I think that's really cool. So. Oh my God. What? There we go. Holy crap, that was embarrassing. So this isn't 25 turkeys, but two of them, that's still not too bad. Once again, this was, I was planning for this one for a different map, but... You know what? I'll take it. A lot of these maps have duplicate animals, so it doesn't really matter where you do it. But for this comment, I do have to say I am very impressed. That sounds like a very, very nice thing to do. And it's a good way to give back to the community. And I think that would be, yeah, a really fun thing to do. You get to bond with your family and you get to do stuff for people that are a little bit less fortunate. And yeah, that's that's really nice. Pablo, how do you not see that thing? It's bigger than you are. There we go. Oh, I could grab it right out of its mouth. I shot it in the foot. I did bad there. That was, that was unfortunate. 
Oh, all right. Whoa, okay. Got two white tail on the tracks. Once again, this is that sort of thing where I was telling you guys always check your laneways. Look at this. Okay, they're not too far away. I'm gonna see if I can sneak it into a shoulder right there. All right, let me... Ooh, this is gonna be hard. Let's get a little bit closer, I think. Oh, and by the way, guys, I'm putting all my loadout information in the description, so I didn't say it today, but it'll be in there if you're interested. Do I go for the neck? Look at you. I can bean you right in the head. We could make him stand up. So if I shoot over there, he's standing. All right. And we dropped him. Oh, there's another one in there. Holy crap, he's big. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Can we see him? 207. Whew. That's a big boy. Did we get him too? Let me check the map. Oh, it's pink over there. I think so. All right, let's see here. You were a nice silver. We got you in the lung, a little bit lower to the right. I could have got a heart shot. Very, very tight rack. I like that. Okay, and we shot another one up here, which I think he actually died. Maybe? Maybe it was an old one. I'm not sure. We'll see. Ooh, hold up. No organs hit just now. I hit something. Was it a female, though? Let me see here. No, it was a male. All right. And it wasn't this dude. There's white-tailed rabbit down there. I'm gonna actually go for him. Nice gold. Damn, look how wide you are. Whew, that is impressive. All right, I'm gonna go after this rabbit. All right, Pablo, where do you think he is, buddy? Oh yeah, I see him. Hey, you're dead. That one got away. We got one of them, though. We got one of them. Where are the coyotes, though? I mean, no tracks or anything here. So you know what? I changed my mind. Bunny hunting is actually really fun, if you're on the right map. So I might actually like to do that in real life. Oh, I found you. We just got him. All right, Pablo. Grab that one too, bud. There you go. And this one's just silver. All right. Yeah, and this is gonna be a little bit tricky. I thought finding the coyotes would be a little bit easier here. We might have to go over to Rancho or something like that. Well, I don't really know what happened on Leighton Lakes, but I don't think I have a single coyote anymore. So we're over here on Rancho. And I brought out the other Pablo. There he is right there. And, uh, yeah, this is a pretty good coyote area. Let me check my map here. So I've got a zone up here for coyote, which is pretty close by, and one over here. Now, they're not going to be there because I'm, I'm a little bit too close, but there's a bunch in the area, which is very good. And most of the time I actually see these guys, they're up in the mountains just running around. Oh, I'm out of scent spray. Shoot, we'll have to pick some up later. Ooh. Maybe I'll go for another white-tailed deer. And for those of you who are wondering, how come he's not going after reindeer or any of that stuff? This is only going to be what you guys do for tradition. So unless you traditionally do that, I'm not going to gonna attempt it. Oh, hold up. He's good. Let me see if I can drop him here. Did I get him? I think it was a pretty bad hit, but I'm hoping I penetrated deep enough. He's going to go down, I think. I definitely think that's going to drop him. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to drop so what I do plan on doing, though, is maybe tomorrow I'm going to record another episode of just hunting in Medved. A really nice Medved reindeer hunting episode. One of you guys asked for, like, an hour-long episode. I'll do my best, but I don't know if I can handle it for that long. But, yeah, we'll see if we can do something like that. Just We'll just hang out. We'll listen to some Christmas music. Maybe I can find some, like, non-copyright Christmas music, and, uh, yeah, we'll just have a nice time with it. Coyote. Ooh. Maybe I do need to go back there and check. I mean, he, I think he died. I think that's him. Oh, yeah. Non-vital organ hit. Okay. 
two non-vital organs in. Yeah. Oops. I do kind of wish that Call of the Wild would do some special events, though. I know that Hunter does, um, but Call of the Wild, it just, yeah, doesn't. You know, they've got some Christmas skins, which I might see if I can change my guns up for the, the actual Christmas episode. But I just, you know, that would be cool if some of the reindeer had red noses. Like, that would be a cool thing. And then you could taxidermy them with red noses. That'd be awesome. You know, that, that would make things a lot more fun. Probably bring a lot of people back to the game. Ooh, holy crap. We got a coyote over here. Oh, no, he's running. That's fine. We know he's over in there, and it's a male. So we can go grab his tracks. Oh, that's him right there. We might be able to pick him off if he slows down. Oh, we dropped him, but it was not a good hit. Oh, that was bad. Oh, what was that? That that wasn't a coyote. Oh, I'm falling. Something else ran by, and I <laughs> don't think it was a coyote. Yep, whitetail, 206. Woo, pretty good. All right, so at least we hit the coyote. It wasn't a great shot, though. This dude was in the shoulder blade. Okay, I shot a little bit high. Then I hit him again. I hit him in the other shoulder blade. Oh, no. <laughs> that poor dude was limping off. All right, I feel bad about that. All right, let's go see if we can find this dude's blood splatter. He didn't die? Okay, this is going to be a little bit trickier than I thought. And the fact that we shot is going to be even harder now. Oh, wait. He came back again? Maybe I can get like a Hail Mary here. I don't think that one hit him. I think he just died. What was that? Oh my God, there's so many things here. Okay, there's a white tail. Female. There's one, I think he's on the other side of the hill. No, no, he can't be. Oh, that's him right there. He's bad. Let's see if we can get a shot on him here. I'm gonna go for the big gun though. Did I hit him? I don't know where I'm looking. Oh, he's dead. I don't know what that butt was doing sticking up in the air there. Oh my God, there's another one? I think we just need to head over to the area. We've got our coyote down. I think we've got a white tip. What are you doing? I want whatever that is though. There's something right over in there and I, I want to find it. Oh my gosh, that is horrible. Let's see if we can get him. I kind of flicked it a little bit. I don't know if I got him. Let's go see. This is a fun map though. This region of the map for Rancho, probably my favorite. You can see really far, it's packed full of animals, mule deer, white-tailed deer. Pretty good. I can't believe we haven't seen a mule deer yet though. Yeah, bighorn sheep fleeing. There's so many animals in these mountains. Absolutely love it. Look at that, there you go. There's a level two white-tail. Oh, that's that 206 from earlier. So it kind of shows you a bit more of their behavior. They do a lot of like little loops and stuff like that. They get a little bit confused. They try to go away from you. They want to go up. They want to go down. This is a really good spot. They, they tend to not go too far away from you. Can you find anything, bud? Oh, holy crap. Yep, there's something here. I think this is my coyote, right? Yes, it is. There's a mule deer. Okay. I do think I've got a pretty giant mule deer around here. It'd be nice to get another diamond. But I'm not going to go after him specifically. If he wants to come out, I'll go for him. But, oh, crap. I lost Pablo. Oh, my God. My map is pink. Did you find? Oh, yeah. You found him. Oh, there's Mildred down here. Oh, my God. Where is the mule deer? Well, it made noise, but I don't see him anywhere. 
Interesting. I'm gonna grab this guy first, though. Let me see. We got him with a vital. Nice shot in the lung. All right. And Pablo is by the coyote, so I'll grab this dude. Well, no, he's not. He's going after this one. This one was another lung shot. Oh, hold up. Whoa, okay, mule deer. Decent amount of them, too. Is there a male? Holy crap, I think it's just a big old group of does. Whew. That's a big boy. And we got him. That was a good shot. Damn. All right, Pablo. Wh wh <laughs> where'd the coyote go? I'm getting... There's too much stuff going on, buddy. I'm a little bit confused. But I am hitting my shots today. <clears throat> well, not not this shot in particular. <laughs> this was a booty one. Um, but the other shots are pretty good, though. But yeah, typically in this region, I can just run around, start shooting stuff. And the more you shoot, the more things get spooked. And the more spooked they get, the more confused they get. And you end up with stuff like this, where they don't really know what to do and where to go. <laughs> so they just kind of, yeah, walk out in the open. And there's no trees here, really. So it's very easy to get some open shots on an animal that's not moving super quick. Whew, he is pretty. Now, he's not going to be a diamond or anything like that. Because diamond for them is 312. He was only, like, upper estimate was, I think, 260. But holy crap. I love how wavy their antlers are. Honestly, probably my favorite deer species, I'd have to say. I really liked red deer for a while, but you just, you can't compete with a rack like this. You know, it's like white tail to the extreme. That is just, that is huge. That is such a massive, massive animal. Oh, it was a heart shot. 135 while he's running heart shot. Pretty damn good. All right, Pablo, what's our next one, buddy? Okay, so the next tradition is for lynx and snow rabbits. And like they said, we don't have snow rabbits in the game. However, we do have lynx. Now, I don't want to do too much hunting here besides the lynx because I want the next episode to be really special during our Christmas one. But we can definitely take down a lynx. Shouldn't be a problem here. So first, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab this need zone and see if we can find some tracks. If we can find the tracks, we can find the animal. It might take a little bit, but we can find them. Every time I get on this map, I like it more and more, especially when I'm missing back home. Right now, back where I live looks exactly like this. Holy crap, am I jealous. You know, I, I love I love living in Turkey for the weather. It's nice, but I miss the cold. You know, I miss the pain and the cold and stuff like that. I know that sounds weird, but that sting of the snow on your face and stuff like that, it's just, yeah, it's been a few years. I, I miss it a lot. Oh, hold up. Okay. We got two cows coming in. Ooh, that's a big boy. Is he fleeing towards me? Well, I'm not gonna let this opportunity go away though. I'm just gonna drop him on the spot. No. I hit him again though. Oh shit, they are coming right past me here. Come on, bud, you gotta drop from that. I hit you hard. Yep, okay, he's down. Oh, look at that animation. That was cool. Not quite a lynx. And I know I said I wasn't going to shoot other things, but you are beautiful. Look at the size of you, buddy. All right. He's a gold 236. He's definitely not a diamond. Oh, we were just off from the heart, by the way. But uh, whew, what a fucking moose. All right. Now I think. <laughs> we kind of scared off everything in the area. So, I mean, we could go for this lynx up here. I don't know if I want to. Holy crap, there's a brown bear up here. All right, stay uh, <laughs> stay ready, Pablo, because this is going to get a little bit messy, I think. I don't think it's going to be that easy to find a lynx. We went past the, the need zone, actually. Oh, well, I don't need to worry about that because we got one right up here. Oh, I didn't put my scent spray on. If I get attacked by Capricali, I'm going to be pissed. What is that? What just went by? Level 1 Capricali. There's a moose there. It's fleeing. I think it's running away from this lynx. Do I have my collar with me? Yes, I do. I do. Oh, yeah. Come on. I don't... I think it's going to want to come in. I think it's going to be a little bit nervous. But 
It's a nice mail. I think it's a nice mail, at least. I don't actually remember what it was. Wild boar warning call. Oh, it must be pissed off by the Eurasian lynx. You know what? No, we're picking this up. We're just going to go. All right, I've got a female lynx track, but I don't know where the male is. This might be him. No, that's a female. I want the male. Oh my god, she's close. She's like right, right there close. On the other side of this rock. She's attentive. I want to go after a male. I thought there was one in the area, but I guess not. All right. She's nice. She's resting right there. Class three. Let's do this one. Okay. There we go. I'm going to aim for the neck here. I don't know if we... Did we get her? No. I don't think we got her with a very good shot. She may or may not die from that. That was kind of stupid, but I was hoping to get a neck shot today. One of you guys actually said I should do a neck shot only challenge, one through nine, kind of like with a heart shot. Fuck no. <laughs> there is no way that that is going to happen. 75 to 100. Oh, yeah, she's fine. It's all right. I'll get her. All right, let's check here. How, how bad was I? Oh, I like that you can see the wind blowing in the screen. That's cool. I need to aim a little bit farther down. Or I should have aimed for the brain, actually. That might have been a little bit better. Look at the feet on that, though. Damn. Take some screenshots. Holy crap. All right. <laughs> Let's go on to the next one now. I'm so glad you guys can't clip stuff on YouTube. Or at least I think you can't. <laughs> Otherwise, I would be on a list somewhere. <laughs> I would be on a few registries, I think. And last but not least, we've got bush pigs. And for those of you who know Call of the Wild, we don't have those in the game. Kind of like what the comment says. But we do have warthogs. And while it's not the same thing, I feel like it's got the same energy. And we're going to do it because it sounds like fun. All right, let's see. So this is pretty much my prime spot for warthogs here. I mean, <laughs> I've got so many need zones in this area. I know where stuff is. So I love this map. I love this map so much. So there should be some warthogs. Sometimes they're up in here. Oh, look at that. Some bunnies. Oh, yeah. Holy warthogs. Oh, I wish I could see them. That's a really big group, and I kind of want to go after them. Oh, look at them going through. Nothing great. They got a seven. Hey, hold up. Before we go too far, maybe I can drop this dude from here. All right, I'm going to pull out my seven millimeter because I can handle this. And... There we go. That should drop him on the spot. I think. Where is he? I think he's in that bush. I'm pretty sure he's in that bush. I wonder what warthog tastes like. Can you eat them? I mean, I'm sure you can. You can eat anything, really. But should you? Is a, you know, that's another question altogether. I would eat it. You know, I know Charles Darwin, he ran around and everything he saw, he pretty much ate, which is <laughs> pretty fucking badass. I mean, not for the rare animals. That's a bit unfortunate, but I don't know. What, what, I wonder what the weirdest thing a human has eaten. We've eaten a lot of weird shit. I know that like there's uh, one of the weirdest things to me is bird nest soup, where there's a type of bird that uses its saliva to make the nest, I'm pretty sure. And then they go and they collect the nest and then they eat it in a soup. Pretty cool. Would I try it? I don't know if I want to eat a regurgitated bird nest, but... Ooh, something's making noise. What was that? Cape Buffalo. All right, yeah. Not important. So these warthogs, I believe, were... Actually, we might be able to spot them from here. No, I think they're already gone. But human cultures are crazy. There's so much going on all around the world here. Scrub hair. Oh, oh, I see it. It's making me... I'm getting flashbacks from when I was trying to take down the, uh, the scrub hair with the crossbow and that one thing. Oh my god, was that a nightmare. We're not gonna think about that on Christmas. That's, that's not a Christmas thing to think about. That is pain. Ooh, that was creepy. That would scare the crap out of you, though. If you're out here walking around trying to shoot rabbits and you hear that deep, deep bass right there. Woo! 
You need a new pair of pants after that. All right, so where'd the warthogs go? Oh, just now he was here. Okay, nice. So, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but this episode, I'm trying to hang out with you guys a little bit more, you know, because Christmas coming up. I know a lot of my episodes, I try to do a little bit faster pace, but you know, it's, it's a holiday season. I want to hang out with you guys, talk a little bit, get to know you guys, let you guys get to know me a little bit. So yeah, have a little bit of a hunting conversation and talk about weird shit, <laughs> the best way to do things. Hey, the problem is I can't see this dude. He's in a really weird spot. I don't know how to get to him. Okay, he's only a two. Where's where's all the rest of them? Okay, I don't I don't like this. Was that a heart shot? I think so. Okay, K Buffalo. There's gotta be more though. There's like five or six of them. Where'd they all go? Let me see here. This was another warhog. I think they were just below him down the hill. And we got him with a double lung and a liver. Beautiful. Oh, hold up. Yeah, they kept going. They were down here. Okay, let's see if we can find ourselves a male. We'll grab that track. Um, They ran down. Oh, there they are. That's a one. That's a three. I want that three. All right, so I ran around for a while. I didn't find the level three. He just somehow disappeared. So... Oh, holy crap, that's scary. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut over to Pablo. Pablo's got something he wants to say to you guys. Hey, guys, how you doing? Merry Christmas. It's uh, Papa Rooster here. No, I don't. Don't call me Papa Rooster. But um, I'm here with my boy Pablo, right? Now, Pablo and I would like to admit... God damn it, Pablo. We would like to wish you a Merry Christmas. And um, Pablo and I would like to announce the winner of the contest that we did. So the last video, I said whoever got the most likes would get a Steam key for Call of the Wild and would also get a Steam key for one of the dog DLCs, whichever one you guys want. And uh, I'm going to put up the comment that won on the screen right now. So congratulations. And uh, Pablo says hello. Oh, Pablo. <laughs> Look at him. So yeah, for the top comment, first of all, I'd like to say I am very proud to have you as a member of my community. Pablo, say hi. Say, say you're proud too. So I'm very proud to have you as a member of my community. It, one, it's really cool that you get to bond with your family by doing something like that. Pablo, you had enough screen time. And two, it's really cool that you get to give back to the community and that is awesome. And I am very proud of you. And I'm sure everyone in the comments is proud of you as well. So give them some love, guys. So if this is your comment, reach out to me by email. Pablo, I'm recording the outro, dude. <sighs> yes, you get your last bit of screen time. Oh, anyways, before before I continue with that, Pablo is a Cana Corso. He's a reverse blue brindle. Beautiful, beautiful boy. Nom, 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 nom. Beautiful boy. So yeah, reach out to me, send me an email, prove that it's you, and let me know which DLC do you want. Do you want the uh, Labrador DLC? Do you want the other one, the Bloodhound DLC? Let me know. So, I'd like to give a big thank you to all my channel members. You guys are the best. And I'd like to give an extra special thanks to Bravo J. He's my legendary supporter, so thank you. Really appreciate it. My head's hurting. This hat's a little bit too tight. Love you guys. Have a Merry Christmas.